Hey everybody, it's Rylan and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Beauty and the Beast Funko Pop unboxing and review. But before I start unboxing and reviewing this amazing Funko, if you are a new viewer and you have the same interests as I do, like Disney Funko Pops, then make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. And then after you've hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you are notified every single time I upload a brand new video because I would love, love, love to connect with you guys in the comment section, so don't forget to comment on this video. Okay, so I have actually already done a review on the Celebration Bell, the Bell holding her rose and her yellow gown, and also the Beast, and if you guys want to check out this review, then make sure you go ahead and hit that button right up there, and click that link, and it'll take you directly to this review. These are awesome Funko Pops, and you gotta check them out if you love Beauty and the Beast, especially if you're excited for the new live-action Beauty and the Beast. Now today it's Cogsworth, this is brand and spanking new. I got this from RadarToys.com. Hopefully they have some more if you are wanting Cogsworth. Uh, I feel like he's been taking a while to come out, but we have him here, you guys, and he is adorable. Now, Cogsworth is actually one of the characters in this live-action Beauty and the Beast that I am most impressed with as far as character design. I absolutely love him. Now, on the front here, we have the Pop logo, the window to show you the paint job, and the actual Funko Pop that you're getting in this box. The Beauty and the Beast logo right here, his number, which is number 245. A nice illustration of Cogsworth peeking out. It's just like a side view of him. His name right down here. Another window with him peeking, his number, and his name in big black letters, the Pop logo. On the back, we have all of the ones that we can collect and you can get Belle holding the Red Rose, the Beast, Lumiere, Cogsworth, who we have right here in front of us, Mrs. Potts and Chip, Belle Celebration, which is the one I just held up a little bit ago, Belle holding the Candlestick, or I don't know if it's Lumiere, but that is a Barnes & Noble exclusive, Belle as uh, in her village outfit, which I believe is a Walmart exclusive or a Walgreens exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section so everybody knows the right information. Uh, Belle in her castle grounds outfit, which is an FYE exclusive. And Belle in her garter robe outfit, which I am not sure which one that is. It might be Hot Topic, but there is also a Hot Topic exclusive of a flocked beast. So he's like fuzzy, that's what flocked means. On this side we have a full picture of Cogsworth. His number, his name, and the pop logo. At the very top we do have him peeking out the Funko logo, then the pop logo. And I am going to go ahead and open up Cogsworth from the bottom. I like to open up all my Funko Pops from the bottom. He comes in this nice plastic case, and oh my gosh, look how cute he is. This is an awesome Funko Pop. And I'm just gonna open up like this, and then this up here, take him out. Ta-da! We have Cogsworth out of the box, and he looks so good. Oh my gosh, I love this Funko Pop. Something I really love about Cogsworth is the fact that this Funko Pop really does like kind of show you the character that Cogsworth actually is. He's very stubborn, he's opinionated, and he's hilarious. It's very particular, if you will. And you can even see that with his hands on his hips. Now, I have my macro lens in, so we're actually going to see this Funko Pop in so much detail, so I'm going to bring him up right now real close. Alright, now we have Cogsworth up really close, and we can just really admire the amazing paint job that they've done on this. Actually, the choice of colors with this Funko Pop is fantastic. We have this distressed golden paint job at the very top and on his face, giving him a very antique look. This nice chestnut brown on basically his body. His Funko eyes are awesome, and we can even see all of those Roman numerals uh, telling what time it is. But again, very, very well done work here, Funko Pop. I'm going to go ahead and move him down just a little bit so we can see his stomach area, which has all of his, like, messed up parts and that is very much so Cogsworth in the movie you actually see his his insides are all mixed up and then you can actually see in the live-action trailer that that is the case as well I love the sculpt I love the detail I love the coloring it's a very very simple Funko Pop but it's just so cool like I said earlier I'm really really impressed with the character design on um, Cogsworth I think it's really well done and I cannot wait for the limited edition Cogsworth to come out at the Disney store it's gonna be awesome but let's look on the back it looks like he has this little door where you can go inside and just fix anything or add batteries or whatever you need to do. Even down here we have detail going all along the bottom portion 
and then on the side. He's really small, you guys, so this is my hand, and if I put him, he, you, I can actually hold him. So it's it does it's not a big Funko Pop, but it's the perfect size. Comparing him next to Belle, they seem like they're about the same, and then comparing him next to the Beast. Oh my gosh, they look so good together. It looks like the Beast is just a little bit bigger. But no points of articulation on this Funko Pop because, well, he doesn't really have a head and his arms do not move. Which actually would have been kind of cool if they made his arm move. But anyways, you guys, let me know in the comment section if you are going to get this Funko Pop. I'm really loving it. Like I said, I'm a big Cogsworth fan, so I had to get him. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Funko Pop reviews. Alright, you guys, I will see you all in my next video. Peace and love for me here in Los Angeles, California. Bye-bye.